Hello YouTube, um, I have recently had a lot of requests for my color correction tutorial, which is playing right now as you can see. I don't know why people, er, it's, it's really good color correction if you ask me. It brings out a lot of the good colors, enhances them a lot. So, let's get started. And by the way, I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 11. Okay, to start out, we're going to go brightness and contrast and go to default. Or on Sony Vegas 11, it's default. I'm not sure what it is on Sony Vegas 10 and below. But to begin, drag your contrast to about point... F probably around point 0.5. And brightness up to about point zero 0.01. Yeah, point zero 0.01 for the contrast and point 0.5... Or point zero 0.01 for the brightness, excuse me, and point 0.5 for the contrast. That'll enhance some of the darker colors, as you can see. And now you're going to go to secondary color corrector and do default. Drag it onto your clip. Increase saturation to about 2.4. And that brings out a lot of the sun in the clip, if you have a lot of sun. And then rotation hue... Just, you can leave it at 0 or 360, same thing. Or if you want to, like, bring out different colors that are more enhanced. Like, let's say you have, like, a film of a sky, you'd probably want to go here. But since I'm just filming Modern Warfare 2, I want to just keep it at 0 or 360. So, yeah. Just, and then gain, I don't think there's any difference. I drag it to about 1.5. It just brightens it. So it enhances and brightens it. And just leave everything else the same. And that's it for color corrector secondary. Now go to color curves and drag default on here. And now you're going to drag this on RGB. Going to drag this up here about a quarter of the way. And you're going to do the same for the bottom. And if you want to vary, it can go darker, lighter, depending on what clip is. I like to go about a quarter of the way. So, yeah, and that, yeah. <laughs> so next, we go on to soft contrast, which you'll see what it does in a minute. And then you're going to add, you're going to go to warm vignette, or however you pronounce that. And then when you get to the effect right here, I'd say put contrast back at zero, since you don't want to add any more contrast to what you've already done. So then go to Viganet, and then you can add the strengthness, which is like the black surrounding it. You can add it, like subtract it. It depends really what you want. You can do the softness, like if you want to make it like a square or like just a f like a tint of black. I like to keep it at 50. And you can like vary the width and stuff, and I like to just keep it at like 80, what it comes like. And yeah, that's pretty much my color correction. You can mess around with some other stuff if you want, but I'll play the full, the final result out of the clip I'm doing right now after I render it. So yeah, I will see you guys later, and I hope you enjoyed my video on, and I hope you use it. If you're watching this, you should probably end up using it. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Oh! 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 oh. Dude, I oh. just walked up into that. Oh. Oh. Care package. Oh. Care packages. Dude, I just.